Aloha everyone! I'm Gabby and I'm Georgie and we are the mummies of Sisterhood Furniture and content creators for Dixie Bell Paint. We are gonna repaint this piece guys. We just felt like it deserves lots of color and transforming it in something crazy and fancy. So let's get into it! Let's do it! Let's do it! I started by removing the wax and the gel stain from the legs to bring them back to bare wood. I used an 80 grit and then 240 grit to smooth it out. We used a paint roller which made this step super quick and smooth. This piece has been previously sealed with a clear wax from Dixiebel, which is actually a water-based wax, so it means it's safe to paint over it. We first started to apply white paint, but then we switched to limeade, this lovely color, like a bright yellow-ish, with a green tint. Using limeade as a base will just work better with what is next. We applied two coats of limeade and let it dry for about two hours in between the coats. The next step is preparing uh, the magic potions. I added about five spoons of paint in a shot glass, using the shots wisely, guys. Then I added water until I get this thick and runny consistency in the same time. Then I took a straw and let's begin. I water well the surface and then I started to add the peony composition on the right side of the piece and I spread it around with a straw. I should know how many millimeters of water I added, but I just did it by eye for all the colors this time and see what I get. I try to keep the same consistency for all the colors though. Then I added the Florida orange on the top of peony and I spread it around with the straw. As you can see, the paint is quite fluid because I use lots of water on the piece and also by diluting the paint. I use a straw just to kill my lungs. No, but seriously now I have more control with the straw rather than using a blow dryer. It's giving a quite different look. Then I added a pure ocean and I also did some blue dots just to have like different patterns. I also added another shade of pink just to have like a variety of pinks. It looks really good, but it needs just a few drips of amethyst, this fancy bold purple. And now, another delicious color, Mermaid Tail. This is actually the first color we purchased from Dixie Bell and is definitely our both favorite color. On the left side of the piece I added the dark colors starting with uh, Bunker Hill Blue and then I added some amethyst on the bottom and just blew them away. I um, added a round and overlaid some pure ocean, then I added some lavender, mermaid tail,
I just added a few drops of Crazy Plum and Florida Orange, just experimenting around. We decided to paint the side of the piece with Bunker Hill Blue. The first coat I went for a smooth finish, but on the second one I used the best tank brush and I started by dabbing the paint to create a soft texture. I thought it would look nice and somehow the texture finish will match better with the colorful craziness. On the handles we applied mermaid tail and then wiped it. We let it dry and then sealed them later. Now for the side of the drawers we are gonna do something really fancy. Something that might seem too much when you first think about it, but we really visualize it there. First I applied two coats of white by using fluff from Dixie Belle and then I took out the safari stencils and I used the zebra pattern I placed a stencil on the drawer and then I used a sponge black paint and I stippled over the stencil. Make sure you take just a small amount of paint so this won't drip underneath the stencil. We let the piece dry for about 5 days and then we sealed it with gator hide, which is a water repellent um, and a really tough sealer. We sealed it with 3 coats, leaving 2 hours in between the layers. This seal gives a lovely satin finish, it's actually somewhere between satin and gloss. On the top we previously applied clear wax, but now we also applied three coats of gator hide to make it shine the same as the rest of the piece. And this is the final result. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you will enjoy this tutorial. It gets you inspired in any way. And if you did so, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more furniture tutorials. See you next time. Bye! Bye.